Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today's video is going to be a short one. I'm going to discuss about the Stratocaster and why the SSH configuration is the most ideal uh, configuration for all situations. If you're new to this channel, and just want to subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of patrons to support this channel, I would appreciate it. The Stratocaster shape guitars, right? Um, you all know my love for Stratocasters and um, how I enjoy uh, getting all sorts of tones from the Stratocaster, especially on the SSH configuration, pickups configuration, meaning uh, single single and humbucker. Um, I've played through a whole lot of these guitars um, for the past years, and well, especially on the reviews in this channel. And I went through like uh, configurations which have um, split call on the humbucker, and some with a series in parallel uh, switching and, and all sorts of configurations. Um, but I myself prefer to have it on the traditional SSH configuration. Well, traditional is not the word because it, the, the actual traditional uh, pickup configuration should be SSS, single, 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 uh, which I appreciate from time to time because I myself do own a couple of these guitars. I have the uh, Fender Japan 50s traditional, which is SSS, and my uh, fifth, um, well, 
Japan uh, contemporary strat, which I've uh, uh, installed EMG VIN skill pickups, which has single, single, single. But that pickup configuration is very different because it's EMG and there's an SPC control. So it gives me a whole palette of, of ability to come up with different uh, tones and different playing styles. Um, when I when I work on uh, in a studio, for example, when I'm doing a session, I used to carry just one Stratocaster uh, shaped guitars. It could be my Luke, you know, my my Luke. It could be anything. It could be my Nick Johnson if I want to, um, with a single single humbucker configuration. Why? Because I could do a whole lot of stuff uh, with these guitars. You know, single single. Um, you know, I could I could do nice rhythm parts, muted guitar parts, nice chorusy or tremolo sounds. Especially with the uh, neck pickup. You know, you can get a little uh, uh, a nice warm uh, tone depending on your adjustments or your amps and your whatever you're using in multi-effects, you can get a really nice tone. Um, cut off the the uh, tone, you can get really nice, jazz, nice jazzy tones if you want to. So uh, that eliminates uh, the need for me to to bring a Les Paul or a, 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 a 335 or anything that is warm. Um, natural, you know, naturally warm sounding guitars. So with the Stratocaster, I could I could use all this, but it's not the same as having a real Les Paul or a 335 if if you want that purist kind of uh, approach to recording. Uh, recording at home uh, gives me the the advantage of you know using guitars that in my, that's in my house. Like I could use my 335 if I want to, my Les Pauls if I want to, whatever I want to, because it's in easy reach. But in a studio where you have to lock uh, your, when I go to the studio, I have to lock my, my Helix uh, floorboard, I have to lock my acoustic guitar. Sometimes if the session calls for 12 string, I have to bring two acoustic guitars and electric guitar. So I, I, can't, I cannot possibly bring like four or five guitars to a gig in the studio. Uh, the, the environment that I work in is not like LA where I can hire a roadie or a technician to just go up with me if I'm an A-list uh, session guitarist. In here, I have to like arrange my own transport, so I, I, I need to cut down as much as I can. But again, I have to uh, cater to what the producer wants, basically. So if the producer wants certain guitars and, and stuff, I will have to bring it up and I have to find my way to do it. That's, uh, that's part of the gig, you know. But nowadays, I do a whole lot of session at home, which leaves me with uh, so much choices of sounds of guitars, and it's so convenient because I can do everything here. I can take my time. I just recently did uh, a, a session of like four to five songs, and I took my time. It, it took me two days. Um, the producer is a very good friend of mine, and um, gave me the leeway of of you know the time taken because sometimes it's that chop chop you know but this time he gives me the leeway to kind of like plan parts for the song and to enhance it so i like this side of session because this sort of session gives me the creative uh, freedom to explore and, and to see what the song needs you know in, in terms of guitar parts now in terms of live performances i would prefer the um ssh configuration in the strat style guitar too um basically because i could do a whole lot of genres and not change guitars often or sometimes I'll bring up two electric guitars, like maybe a, a, a Telecaster, for example, or a Les Paul. But these uh, occasions are very few, far in between, far and few in between. Um, with the stage, there are certain requirements, especially in, in the good old days when uh, the electrical uh, environment in, on, on the stage is pretty shabby. So you're going to have a lot of 60 cycle hum and all sorts of interferences. And there was once where I was picking up um, RF radio from my amp. So I could actually hear like people talking. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Probably like, you know, um, within the intercom of the sound people or maybe from the cops, you know. But um, whatever it is, it's a, a very um, depressing situation when you're hearing all sorts of stuff. Uh, in your in your monitors or for your monitors, so that's why I opted for a a EMG equipped guitar. Now I have two EMG Strat shaped guitars. One is like I said before the contemporary uh, Japanese uh, Stratocaster, which is which was equipped or is still equipped with the uh, Winskill uh, EMG set, and this is the Luke, all right, um, the Luke two. This guitar is virtually silent on stage because there's no. Uh, chance of this uh, having 60 cycle harm of any sort of uh, interferences and it's great for uh, performances you know 
Um, further to the fact that because I have a humbucker here, I could rock out if I want to and not be afraid of um, sounding too thin or too uh, bright. You know, I could have the humbucker to kind of like enforce uh, whatever I'm trying to do in, in terms of, of overdrive and overdriven sounds. Um, and that's basically what I, I need on stage. Uh, and it would suffice for most performances and most concert uh, scenarios. So there you go. Um, the reason why I prefer the SSH configuration is the fact that it gives me a whole lot of choices, a, a whole palette of choices for me to choose from. Um, do not forget about the second and fourth position where you can get really nice tones. Um, ideal for country, ideal for pop, uh, ideal for strumming if you need some funk strumming. You have the neck and the middle position which is really good for like really jangy stuff if you want to and some nice uh, clean solos like uh, solo lines if you need to uh, for me I, I, I like the uh, the um, second position the most and the reason why is because I can have a cross between the middle pickup and the humbucker at the back now I'm not really a fan of splitting calls because I just don't like the way it is and if you know the mechanics of it um, it's not really a single call when it's split it so there is a sacrifice of tones and stuff like that so I'd rather have a single single if I want to have like a, a single car of a, a, a bridge pickup with a single call but with a humbucker I, I kind of like use it as a humbucker and not split it in any sense and but I would like to have a combination between the middle single call and the humbucker in the back and I like the tone and I'll usually use that tone uh, the second position for ballads or for stuff that I do not want to uh, to be too aggressive, you know, and depending on the pickups that you're using, you know, you can get away with a lot of uh, variations of um, sounds. Depending on what you use, you know, you're having a chorus in between, or having a lot of delay, or just having a clean, you know, and that for me is um, a joy because it, it gives me the versatility of, you know, the choice to choose from, and that, that's great. Having a guitar like. Uh, the James Tyler, for example, you know, uh, you are given the options of the tone expander, which kind of like gives you uh, a little bit more uh, variety uh, options uh, to kind of tailor your sound to whatever you have in your head. And that I think is what uh, makes a real good uh, guitar for studio and for performance. Um, most of the guitars that I have, the Stratcher guitars, are all great and they, they are. Uh, they've been used for live performances before by me. Um, the Nick Johnston performed really well because of the neck and because of the humbucker. The, the Pasadena pickups are really nice. I, again, I don't use the split call, so you know it's fine. Um, the um, the Sujie, you know, really great guitar. You know, if I were to call for a, a more traditional gig where I need uh, some bright, kind of more more brighter sounding Strat sound, I would I would use that guitar. But for overall gig, um, I would either use the uh, the Luke uh, 2 or the James Tyler. Um, that would be the guitar that I would gravitate towards uh, when I'm performing uh, in a live situation. In the studio, again, like I said, you know, I have all these choices at home, so I have no need for you know for certain guitars. So I hope you have an understanding of what I prefer uh, in terms of guitars for both uh, recording and, and performance. I would prefer the stretch guitars because of the way it sounds. Again, that is dependent on the wood uh, the guitar is made of, the fretboard and you know whatever pickups you have. Uh, I, I think I find it really interesting to have all these options and all these variations. Uh, make my life as a guitarist much more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank all my patrons for their wonderful love, their wonderful friendship, and the support. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Au revoir.